Hello, David here, and the project for today is an evaluation of these paint can lids from the Can Seal Lid Corporation. Uh, the nice folks at the Can Seal Lid Corporation asked me if I'd be willing to evaluate their product, and I agreed to do that, and they sent me three samples out. I notice they come in uh, different colors. We got a lime green, orange, and white. They may come in other colors. If you're interested in their website, they have a website at www.cansealid.com. C A N S E A L I D dot C O M. And um, I noticed that they're made out of a, uh, a silicone rubber, which is dimensionally stable. It'll stretch and return back to its original shape. Originally, I thought this thing here was for pouring, but it does not have a pouring feature. I'm assuming this lip is to aid in pulling the um, the lid off of the paint can. Also, let's check and see if you can mark it with if it accepts a marker. Yeah, it accepts a marker real easily. I noticed in the website they mentioned that you could put it on the can and push in here before you apply it and burp it. Uh, my thoughts about burping paint cans is uh, it's not very reliable. You might be able to, to burp, or burp out a few uh, cubic centimeters of air, but you're still going to have air in there. Unless you pump in uh, nitrogen or something to replace the oxygen, uh, your, your paint's going to uh, oxygenate uh, if, you, if you don't remove all the air. I have used other products for my paint cans. I've used a product like this, which uh, once you remove the lid of the can, this slips in tightly into the can where you can pour the paint out and then uh, remove it and put the lid on and the uh, metal area of the can doesn't have paint on it so you don't have the, uh, the rust forming where the, uh, the lid meets the can. However, uh, cleaning this thing is quite a, a project. It, it's not the easiest thing to clean, but it, it was convenient for keeping the top of the can clean. And I have another product that I use. I have this uh, Sureline uh, paint can lid, which uh, I was very happy with. This also is made out of a silicone uh, product. It's it's not as soft as the can seal lid. The can seal lid is very soft. This is it's a little bit harder. Maybe it's not made out of silicone, but um, it, it, it is soft, just not as soft. And if you notice the way this seals, this has an actual um, mold in the, um, in the plastic where it actually fits in the lid of the can. It's a real solid, tight fit. And uh, I had really good luck with keeping the tops of the cans clean and paint-free. So when I put the, the lid of the can back on, uh, was really clean, didn't have any rust problems. If you're a professional painter, you're probably going to be using the five gallon buckets of paint and you're not going to be messing with metal cans and you probably don't let paint sit around for a long time. A guy like me, I keep my paint sitting around in metal cans for five to ten years and uh, I really like products like these that keep the can clean. One of the drawbacks of, of this uh, Sureline is uh, you can't keep it on the can and store them because, uh, well, I guess you could, but you can't stack them. And also, I question the seal. There is a vent here that you open while you're pouring to let the air enter while the paint's coming out of this end. I don't really trust the seal on the pour end and the, and the vent. I don't think it's that tight. Uh, I didn't do a test where I turned it upside down to see if they leak. I don't care to do that. My philosophy in buying this was uh, short term. It was only for a while I was on the painting project. I would keep this on the can and um, it kept the top of the can clean so I'd be sure I wouldn't have rust and you get the uh, residual problems of the rust falling in the can a year later and that it kind of ruins your your paint because you got all these particles of rust in the paint it makes it a, a problem but I was using it for short term I'd be on the project for maybe a week I'd be done after a week and uh, I didn't have any problems with uh, uh, with the paint drying out or anything like that 
And as a matter of fact, I was removing the, this at the end of the day and just pounding the metal uh, lid back in and, and everything was nice, clean and dry. And then on the next day I would put this back in to pour my paint into my tray. And uh, you know, this is, uh, you know, it took a while to clean it. I was using latex paint, it cleans up with water pretty well. And uh, yeah, I think it was worth the effort of uh, cleaning it because of the, uh, the cleanliness. Uh, I think the uh, can seal lid has a, has a different philosophy. They don't use these for pouring. Uh, they they do tout that uh, you could turn this upside down, pour a little paint in here, and then uh, carry it with you to do some touch-ups where you don't have to carry a whole gallon can with you. This is lighter to carry and this cleans easily with uh, water. Uh, they also tout the fact that uh, once this is on the can you can you can stack them. You can use these for long-term storage. Uh, they claim the seal is really tight, and um, uh, it, it's it's supposed to seal as tight as a metal lid. And uh, of course, this won't rust. However, uh, if you don't have something like this to pour, when you pour your can into your tray, you're going to have paint all over the lid of the can, and it's going to be a bear cleaning all that paint off the can once you. Uh, you put um, this on. So I, the philosophy is to throw your metal lid away and use these to store your paint. This will uh, seal as good as a metal lid. The metal lid won't um, won't rust because of course this doesn't rust. But uh, and then you could do a simple wipe of the can with with a paper towel. The, all you want to do on the can is just uh, you know clean the rim and then put this on. Whether the uh, the can will form rust, I don't know. I uh, haven't had that experience. I think those cans are made out of metal. They're certainly not stainless steel. I imagine they could rust. And uh, if it were me, I would clean the uh, the rim completely to get all the old paint out for long-term storage. Get a can of paint and try it out. Got a, pan, a can of paint here from, uh, this is from August of 2015. Funny thing is, I haven't finished that project yet. I've been on other things and still have some painting to do. This is a can on which I've used the, uh, the Sure line. And uh, it's, it has stayed fairly clean. I see, you know, I see some rust forming over there. I, I guess I could have done a better job of wiping the uh, uh, wiping the paint out of there. Let's put this on. See how it does. It's pretty tight. See how a, a can could stack in there. The uh, subsequent can fits inside the uh, lid with plenty of space. You can see there's a lip here. See that lip? Lip comes up maybe uh, maybe three sixteenths of an inch. So uh, yeah, definitely uh, very easy to stack for long-term storage. Well, why don't we do a little test? I'll turn this upside down for about an hour and we'll come back see what happens. You notice these cans have uh, plastic bottoms nowadays. You're kind of wondering if the industry is going to be moving over to a totally plastic can, which uh, might do away with the rust problems we're having. I doubt they're going to go to stainless steel because of the expense. But I have a feeling that uh, plastic cans may possibly be the wave of the future. Okay, it's been over an hour.
nothing leaked out so I'm going to assume that the uh, the lid was airtight however I do have a mess on the lid of my can which I have to clean up because I like keeping my cans clean and there is uh, I could do some touch up right now if I wanted to because I got all this uh, paint in the lid but I'm going to return it to the can because I'm cheap going to be using this for my next painting project just have a mess to clean up let's see how this lid cleans up Latex paint cleans up real easy. Let's see if my uh, marker comes off easy. Uh, felt that markers aren't pretty permanently, but that was a permanent marker. I didn't mention it, but the can seal lid did have a very tight seal. I noticed when I took the the lid off, there was a uh, release of uh, atmospheric pressure. And uh, I got this on pretty tight, and I could feel a bulge here. See if we could hear the air escape when I push on it. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty positive that it's a pretty tight seal. I don't think you'll have any problems with, with uh, air getting into your paint. Uh, let's wrap this up. To summarize, uh, I think the can seal lid is a good tight sealing lid. It's uh, rust free because it's uh, silicone. It's pretty tight. Uh, I recommend uh, not to get rid of your uh, your Sureline. Use the Sureline for pouring, but uh, long term storage, I uh, would recommend using both. Use the Sureline for uh, pouring to uh, keep your your uh, rim of your can clean, and then uh, you can seal your can with the can seal lid. Nice product, boys. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please uh, click the like button. If you uh, like my string of videos on how to and repairs and firearms, please consider subscribing. Thank you.